You may ask how do geckos toe pads stay clean and how are they able to be used multiple times? Sita ends helpless. These beings live on geckos toe pads and resemble the branched tree-like and hair-like parts that they live amongst. Toe pads and geckos are thought to have evolved independently and so Sita ends may have evolved independently. A fantasy version of a partial or whole genome duplication may have led to Sita turning into both Sita and Sita ends. Sita ends started out shorter with less branches. These Sita ends had evolved diamond like patterns like the airy trees on earth called scale trees that may increase the Sita's surface area for possible friction enhancement or adhesion. These scale Sita ends evolve taller sizes and more branches, although independently to modern Sita ends. These early beings kept their diamond pattern like the early Sita they lived amongst. As time progressed, technology for making gecko inspired adhesives evolved and some of these adhesives had hierarchical structures like some gecko inspired adhesives on earth. Magic also progressed and some of the artificial CETA produced were turned into artificial CETA ends. These magical beings help with artificial CETA maintenance, helping the artificial adhesives be used multiple times, and they also protect the artificial CETA. They fit together like Lego and can form towers in order to look out above the artificial CETA for danger. The smaller parts on top of artificial CETA. Ends can also become buds and form new CETA ends. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed.